Hi all folks, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com. Welcome to the Four Footer Edition, the weekend edition. Yeah, I'm bored. I have nothing to do. Um, so today let's talk about Android ROMs and Android kernels. And uh, most of you who probably flashed a ROM through um, one of my videos or through XDA or whoever, um, you know what a ROM is and a kernel is. You sort of know. But let's get into the details of it. What what does it exactly do? What are these ROMs and what are these kernels? Um, so let's go use my Galaxy Note and maybe I can draw stuff on my Galaxy Note and show you exactly what uh, Android ROMs and kernels are. All right, let's do it. Hi, folks. So I've got my uh, Galaxy Note X2. This is coming out. Um, it's two Galaxy Notes. Um, <laughs> into one. Anyway, let me show you what uh, Android ROMs and kernels are. Um, so, Android is basically running on top of the um, Linux kernel. Um, basically, without the Linux kernel, it couldn't run. So, it really looks like this. This is the box, right? The big box. And uh, I would call it the outside layer is the kernel here. So, let's call this kernel. Let's change our pen to something a little bit better. Let's go purple here. So that's the kernel. Um, and the ROM itself, well, is that how you call it? Um, well, let's say uh, kernel is this part, alright? Kernel is the, no, you know, actually, no. Actually, the kernel is without the kernel you can't do anything. Uh, kernel has functions. Um, basically, it's the outlay um, functionality. It actually does everything on your phone. For example, when I press uh, when I press this, when I do this, um, it will actually uh, activate you know the sensors in the kernel to sense uh, the touch screen, and then also you know also send out to the display. Um, what color it is, and that's all controlled by the top, uh, the higher layers. Um, so that's the kernel. And what is a ROM? Um, ROM is basically the layer inside the kernel. I would have to say, um, along with the kernel. Actually, this this whole thing is the ROM. This whole thing is the ROM. Um, and uh, inside the kernel, you have a little. Um, Java virtual machine. All right, yeah, let's change this color here. So we've got Java um, VM. Um, basically, what Java VM is, you know, it's basically Java. If you don't, if have you seen, uh, if you've seen Java applications on on the uh, browser, um, that's what it is. Java. The greatest thing about Java is that uh, I used to be a Java engineer, by the way. Um, it can run on all kinds of platforms Linux, uh, Mac and uh, Windows so actually in uh, theoretically you can actually run the Java uh, virtual machine on uh, on top of Windows or Mac if you wanted to um, but you would have to customize um, the Windows and system and the, the Mac system OS iOS so Java is running and uh, when you see all this graphical stuff is done in the Java um, so that's the Java part and uh, when I'm doing all this it sends commands to the kernel and it receives back the input um, so when I'm pressing it it sends the pressure sensitive information to the kernel within 000 0.1 milliseconds and then gets back uh, the data that it's my pressure sensitive point is about um, I don't know how they call the pressure well, let's say uh, 0 to um, I don't know pounds uh, 2 millipounds per per uh, second or something right and then it gets it gets it back to the Java virtual machine and it says oh okay then we need to put it so the blue color is um, at this point and at this much uh, pressure and it sends it back to the kernel draw this um, so the, the basically the kernel handles all the hardware, um, everything the hardware, and the Java is basically um, easier rather than ha having no Java and straight talking to, uh, straight talking to the kernel. 
that would require a lot of programming. What Java does, uh, just in general, not just Java VM, is that it, it allows p programmers to use um, make a big library. So, for example, if I want to um, write this code to write, you know, this this stuff on the Galaxy Note, you can have this function, really simple function called. Um, you know, write on my note, you know, with parameters like um, pressure sensitivity, bl color blue, and you can send it, and then the, the library will actually do the rest of the work, and the actual programmer wouldn't have to do the actual dirty work. Um, so it's kind of a, a it's kind of a, a middle ground for programmers. So it just makes it easy for people to program um, so you can actually talk to the kernel and the kernel is you know Linux so it's it's basically a Linux system I, I keep telling you and uh, what else is there so what what are ROMs ROM is probably I've you know I, I'm not the total expert on it but from what I understand it's basically the inside part um, that's why uh, oh that's kinda cool huh? changing colors that's why ROM developers they can pretty much they can pretty much um, customize the UI, the the outside, the the, the outside commands. Um, so and also, you know, kernels. What kernels can do by themselves is I'll put it over here. You now it's uh, overclocking OC, um, overclocking. So if the kernel doesn't support overclocking, no matter what kind of program you use in the Java Virtual Machine, you're not going to be able to get any kind of uh, overclocking. So what, that's what the kernels do, and also like the BLN, the the uh, notification buttons, and uh, all the hardware stuff like uh, OTG USB. If it's not uh, en enabled in the kernel, you're not going to be able to use it, uh, no matter what kind of ROM it is. Um, but usually, the uh, most of the ROMs come with uh, its own custom kernel. So when you get the ROM, we're talking about the whole thing kernel and the, the Java virtual machine. Ah, simply let's just call it that. So what what are, you know, what the question now comes back to what is a kernel? What is a, a ROM? Um, so you know you can you can change kernels. You can keep the same same in, same ROM. Um, you can swap out just the kernel the outside and uh, you know for example you have a ROM called um, you know XYZ ROM okay this is now called XYZ ROM right now if you have this ROM and it comes it probably comes with the kernel but it doesn't support overclocking no 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 then but you want to keep all everything uh, but you want overclocking then you can swap out just the kernel part let's uh, have some fun here with colors you can just swap out just this part the kernel the runs um, and you can add overclocking. Oops, let's change colors there. And what that will do is enable you to use apps like Set CPU uh, or CPU Master and uh, enable overclocking and without touching the inside. Um, so th I guess that would be kind of the difference. And when you flash a new ROM, it's most most of the time it's gonna install the kernel and everything, just the whole thing. And you when you back up or restore ROMs on Android. Uh oh, ah, why did I do that? Um, basically, it's gonna in, uh, back up everything inside there. Your settings, your apps, everything's stored in here, um, except for the contents of your media, uh, like photos and videos, and your internal storage and uh, SD card. So this is actually kind of you know how Linux works. Um, you know, you got the kernel. And you got you know for for um, well what happened how did I did this there we go for for Linux basically instead of the Java virtual machine um, you would have probably um, a GUI like graphical user interface uh, running on top so it's it's the same thing the Java VM is just acting as a GUI for your Android uh, smartphone device or your tablet device. So let's talk about why Android is so awesome, you know, why? Why ROMs and kernels? Um, so iOS, how, how does iOS work? How does an iPhone work? 
Um, I'm not a total expert on it, but I kind of know. It actually runs uh, Unix. Unix. It's based on uh, like a custom Unix or something like that. It's it's kind of which is sim very similar to Linux. Actually, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, whereas Linux is more open source, and uh, it, it's actually very very similar in how they work. To um, the only difference now is you know um, I think iOS still has a kernel. Oh, let's do a kernel here, and they have the you know pretty much the iOS GUI in here, something like that. I think so. Um, so that's it. But here's the thing with iOS: you can't really you can't change the kernel. Um, I don't know if yeah maybe you can change the GUI a little bit so that limits you to doing you know the only like the basic functionalities it's gonna be really hard to do you know hack the kernel make it overclock you know hack uh, hack the actual hardware so let's go to a new one here change colors Samsung should pay me for using got two two galaxy notes um so the beauty of Android is that you you got this thing, you know, you got you got a you got one um Android device, right? And uh the developer community has built a bunch of ROMs. So let's do this. So you can go install ROM number 1, num ROM number 2. Um you know, you can do um ROM number one, ROM number two, ROM number three, and these are all different ROMs with the kernels, different kernels, different functionalities that developers uh, built into their Android system. And the beauty of that is um, the Android developer community has built this thing called CWM Recovery, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And there's also now more recoveries. What this allows you to do is uh, back up all these ROMs, so you can actually back it up to your SD card, which which is what it does, uh, or to your internal storage. And you can back up ROM uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can back up as many as your SD card will hold, and you can restore. Uh, at any time using the clockwork mod recovery so now it's kind of uh, um, you know it's it's actually multi-booting a bunch of you know different operating systems and you can even have you know user number one here you know have all your settings there all your passwords um, and have user number two here uh, and user number three and you can have ten people using the same phone maybe Monday um, you know uh, Dan uses it, Tuesday, Joe uses it, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Wendy uses it. Um, so these these can all be backed up into your uh, your SD card. So that's why Android ROMs are really cool and it, it, it brings a whole new dimension. Um, it's sort of like playing your uh, PlayStation or now they have the PS Vita you know you you just swap out your game cards and you know voila you can go and you can even take the contents of that put it into your hard disk or even send it over in internet uh, to your you know your cousin in uh, you know maybe Thailand and then they can install the ROM um, you just installed with all these customs you know apps that you know even settings and stuff um, the limits are endless and a lot of people don't realize it so that's why I made this video and you know it's, it's a really cool revolutionary thing we're doing um, something that Apple will never be able to do uh, unless they open up you know their code but this is what open source does and I, I'm just surprised how many develop developers there are for this and uh, you know this is a revolutionary thing you know it's not just about I mean yeah Samsung is making money they're making billions and you know HTC and all these people but the important thing is it gives us the users to create our own world and this is what we're doing you know ROMs and kernels um, so that that's what it's about anyway anyway that's uh, what I wanted to tell you guys um, and uh, this is uh, kind of fun right and if you you know if you like 
interested in this, you know, it's this kind of stuff. Um, let me do this here. Oops. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, subscribe to my channel by hitting that button. And also, you can share with your friends uh, who are wondering what rums and kernels are. And uh, also, if if I missed out something, and uh, you know, if if I didn't explain it clearly, and you're smarter than me, um, then feel free to correct me. Um, I'll make another one of these videos with all the corrections. You know, maybe a couple months later down. Um, but I like learning because uh, when I put a fail video, is because. I put out what I know and then, you know, we have, you know, a ton of people that can help me uh, get smarter, you know, it's, it's all about learning together, so um, it helps me when you actually criti criticize me, I actually listen to you and I actually get smarter, that's how I get smarter. <laughs> anyway, um, leave your comments uh, and any questions, I'll try to answer and uh, uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel. Um, that was what Android ROMs and kernels are, sort of. You know, since no one put out a video yet, so see y'all later. Yeah.